Good morning, everyone. My name is Sun Hongda. I'm from Renmin University of China. Uh, today's topic I'll be presenting is about harnessing multi-row capabilities of LLMs for open domain question answering. So let's begin with the background of the open domain question answering ODQA task. There are two main paradigms for the uh, for solving the ODQA task. First, the retrieve then read paradigms uh, search for re re related uh, knowledge documents from web or external corpus and then produce the final answer. Uh, well, the generate then read paradigms, uh, they retrieve, <coughs> they, they, they replace the retrieval module uh, with directly generating documents uh, using the knowledge stored in LLMs and then produce the answer. Uh, despite the uh, both uh, paradigms uh, strengths, uh, we find that neither of them can fully address the uh, complex requirements for the evidence. So since previous uh, works has demonstrated that the uh, remarkable capabilities of LLMs for various tasks, uh, we realize that specifically for the ODQA task, it requires the integration of test generation, document ranking, and uh, candidate evaluation. Uh, the uh, multiple SF um, capabilities uh, into each module. So we formulate the ODQA process into three fundamental steps. First, query expansion, uh, that uh, expand the query to enrich the context. And second, document selection, uh, uh, retrieve the relevant documents and then re-ranking them to increase their relevance to the answer. And then the answer generation proceeds to generate the final answer. Uh, so the next challenge uh, in ODQA is how to harness the multi-fixated uh, capabilities of LLMs uh, uh, to enhance each step uh, of the ODQA process. So our solution is to instruct LLMs to, pre uh, to play three distinct roles, such as generator, re-ranker, and evaluator, and, uh, and then develop a unified framework uh, to model the structured collaborative interactions among multiple LM roles. So here is an overview of the proposed framework, LM QA. There are three different LM roles and uh, five main steps. First, the core, uh, given the input question, uh, the query expansion genera generator first uh, is response for generating query expansion according to the input question. And then the expansion evaluator select the best query expansion. Uh, and the third, the LLM re-ranker uh, re rank the top key documents according to the question and the generated expansion. And then the re-ranking evaluator select the best re-ranking uh, re -rank result. And uh, finally, the answer generator uh, to generate the final answer according to the question and uh, all the gathered evidence. So let's dig into a practical example. Given the input question, where is the TV show, The Curse of Oak Island filmed? Uh, the expansion generator is responsible for generating several expansion candidates uh, that may, con uh, con uh, that may uh, continue uh, the final answer. And then the expansion evaluator is responsible for score these candidates and uh, uh, select the uh, based on the their informativeness and uh, the uh, their relevance to the question. And then move on to the document selection phase uh, based on the retrieved top n documents. The LLM role played re-ranker is responsible for re-rank the documents and the keep documents that may uh, that are more likely to con uh, contain the uh, true answer, and uh, then the ranking evaluator is responsible for uh, evaluate uh, evaluating the, the performance of the ranker uh, and choose uh, and selects the best ranking result. Finally, the answer generator is responsible for uh, producing the final answer based on the uh, input questions, like the expansion and the re documents. So for the detailed uh, formulation of 
uh, the framework based on the input question queue, we can uh, obtain uh, sequentially obtain the query expansion E, we run DOM means D, and the uh, final answer A. And evaluators in our framework uh, could uh, dynamically interact with both the generator and the re-ranker uh, to score and refine their outputs to uh, ensure the uh, ensure their relevance and the logical consistency. And then the next uh, uh, challenge in our, uh, in ODQA task is that how to maintain uh, maintain and improve the uh, quality of the role playing prompts since the role playing prompts uh, directly influence the performance of um, role playing. Uh, so to better automatically design prompts and uh, uh, continually uh, improve them, we develop a novel uh, prompt optimization algorithm to enhance the performance of um, role playing. So uh, within in our framework, the input question Q, expansion E, documents D, and uh, the output answer A, uh, these four variables can form a new graphic model structure and uh, the expansion and documents can be treated as the hidden variables uh, to be inferred. And uh, the role playing prompts zeta uh, are, uh, can be treated as uh, learning, uh, learnable pr parameters. Uh, since, this is a, since this is a discrete variational uh, based uh, optimization algorithm. Uh, so we need to generate uh, both the priors and the post priors uh, candidates for the hidden variables. Mm, that is, for example, we, uh, we need to uh, generate prior expansion based on only uh, the input question as a condition. Well, we generate post prior expansion uh, given the input question and the, the ground truth answer uh, as a condition. Uh, then we need to, uh, then we need to ensure the optimization direction in each iteration. So our solution is to uh, sample, uh, first sample multiple prompt candidates using manner test edits such as uh, insertions, deletions, and replace, uh, replacements on the current prompts. And then we estimate the evidence lower, lower bound score to select the best candidate to update. And uh, more details about this uh, algorithm can be referred to uh, in, our, in our main paper. So for the experiment part, uh, we choose the three widely used ODQA benchmarks NQ, Trivial QA, and uh, WebQ uh, uh, for, uh, uh, <coughs> for evaluation. And we use EM score to evaluate the answer accuracy and the record score to evaluate the evidence quality. So for the overall performance uh, compared to both retrieved and read and uh, generated and read uh, baseline methods, uh, our um, QA can perform uh, can achieve the best performance on EM scores uh, without using more learnable parameters. And the ablation results indicate that, uh, uh, indicate the necessity of all components of our method, such as the uh, generator, re-ranker, evaluator roles, and uh, the prompt optim optimization algorithm. So the next, uh, the, key, uh, the case study for Answer generation and the uh, prompt optimization indicated that uh, compared to baselines, the documentation chosen by our method contains uh, more answers related to the question. So we also uh, analyze the a varying number of the select expansions and the documents, and uh, the conclusion is uh, that uh, more is not always better. Uh, Incorporating too many candidates uh, into evidence may introduce uh, lower quality or less relevant information and affect the overall evidence quality. Uh, so we also 
compare our method with other uh, evidence gathering method and uh, uh, compare the different strat uh, strategies in document selection. Uh, these results indicate that our method can achieve the best, uh, the best uh, quality evidence. So in conclusion, we propose a LMQA, uh, which is a generalized framework uh, that uh, harnessing multiple uh, multi-row capabilities of LMs for uh, solving OTQA task uh, by effectively uh, modeling the collaborate interactions among the uh, multiple LM rows and uh, continue uh, optimizing prompts uh, to make the LMs uh, role playing better. Uh, we achieved the best performance in terms of both answer accuracy and uh, evidence quality. Yeah, that's all oh, our uh, my pre. Thank you for your listening.